guys, this is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com and I'm happy to bring you guys another haircut this week. This week we stayed a little bit longer than last time so we didn't go with the bob action. We actually went in with a nice medium length uh, layered haircut. This is a little bit shorter layers but it could be transferred into a longer haircut as well. So don't be discouraged by that. If you want to do a longer haircut, go for it. This mannequin just only has so much hair. Um, I love this haircut because it's a very simple haircut to do. Um, it's only a few different panels or sections within the haircut, so we're going to break it down obviously in a second. Uh, but it's just one uh, section in the back, and then we have two, three, and then the fringe area is completely separate. So uh, it's a really easy haircut to do. You're going to be able to use it in the salon. That's the most important part. And you get these really killer, cool layers. And the best part about this haircut, you could wear it on straight hair or obviously wavy hair and it has a really nice shape to it. So I'm psyched about the haircut. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, please leave your comments below and let's get started. All right, guys, so we're going to break down the tools that I used and they're all available on freesaloneducation.com. We got the Mizutani DB20 scissor, my favorite scissor. Also the Donald Scott carving comb wide, YS Park 337 comb, YS Park shark clips, and prepare liquid tool glide. So we start off the haircut with a center parting that goes all the way down center back uh, just to make it easy. And then we section off a V shape in the fringe area, two inches up. And then you can see from mid crown down to behind the ear, a diagonal forward section. And that is it. There's really uh, one panel on the back and then we work off of two panels in the mid, mid part of the head and then the fringe section. So we're going to start off the haircut by bringing the hair directly down, uh, everything straight down. We're cutting a square line in the back. This is really just to clean up the ends. So any guest that you have that comes into the salon, you want to get that nice clean line uh, first in this haircut. And then we're going to go in and create our layering after. All right, so we're going to work off pie shape sectioning in the back. So um, moving more and more diagonal forward as we go and uh, we're gonna create concave layers. So this is really just elevating the hair straight up from the head and then kicking your finger angle up just a little bit to create a little more uh, of that concave feel to the haircut. If we were to come straight out of the head, that would be more convex. We're trying to collapse the shape uh, and create more uh, shorter layers within the haircut. So you can see just it's only a few sections uh, with longer hair, you don't have to necessarily, uh, depending on the density of the hair, take as small of sections. So we're going to move through this haircut. Uh, sorry about that angle, not as good. Uh, but you can see it just creates nice short layers right around the occipital bone area. All right, now we're going to move to the front, uh, taking diagonal forward sections. And I'm really I'm determining my length based on how short I want the face frame to be. So if you have to, you can drop it down and just check it. But uh, real simple. Um, I went a little shorter with this one. I wanted some real a uh, real nice pop to the layering throughout the haircut. And I'm just bringing everything to that stationary guide. Uh, and the, my finger angle is pretty much following the head shape at this point. So right around the forehead. Uh, and how that forehead curves, that's what my finger is doing. And it's sitting, you can't see that angle as well, but I'm bringing the hair directly forward right over that left eye. So um, pretty simple. Again, stationary guide, bringing everything forward until there's no hair left to cut. So you're going to keep working that sectioning and that parting uh, all the way through until there's nothing left. And that'll give you, that connects the front and the back of the haircut. You can see it's a nice face frame, a lot of pieces in there. And the layering just has a lot of movement. Uh, it's really, really cool haircut. Now we're going to grab our guide from the side that we just cut. And we're going to bring it over. So I just grab a little piece of that guide. And that'll connect the two sides together. Now a lot of you will probably have questions about if, the, if it's not a center part. Um, this haircut there's no there's no real parting to it we're doing a broken front fringe and then the layers just kind of fall so you'll see uh, you can see with the at the beginning of the video it's really just a bunch of choppy layers and it doesn't have a, a definite parting within the haircut so this would be 
a great haircut for somebody that's not looking to part it on one side. But if they were going to, you just adjust it, do the same exact thing, um, but just make sure that you're doing it based off of their parting. So you can see how the layers fall. I love the movement in them. Now we're going to take the Donald Scott Prepare Liquid Tool Glide. Uh, what I love about this product is it just makes the hair so silky and has a nice slip to it. So when you're razor cutting, uh, even cutting with scissors, it allows you to glide through the hair really easy and detangles the hair really well. So we're going to use the carving comb wide. Uh, I'm going to go through and I'm going to use big strokes with the razor, a nice vertical section down. Uh, the bigger the stroke, the more broken the fringe will be. Uh, when I say broken, I mean uh, like a shattered feel to it. So I cut my first part right above the nose, and then I'm just going to slide the razor off of that uh, using the center part as my guide and just slide the razor down. So it gives me a nice V shape to the fringe, um, and it's not just a, a big straight across bang, I guess you could say. So you can see, nice soft feel. A lot of layering, a lot of movement, a lot of choppiness. That's what I really love about this haircut. Um, it's just really you know, easy, easy, easy to style. They can wear it curly. They can wear it straight. Uh, so we go in with some Bricado Cloud 9 Blow Dry Serum. I like this. We're going to use a round brush um, really quickly. <laughs> uh, but I just go around the head. I'm working diagonal forward with the round brush, uh, going back and forth with the sections, just creating a nice wave to the haircut so um, we'll go through we're gonna style it up I wish I could blow dry this fast in the salon that would be great working our way through still working diagonal forward using the ergo round brush I love those round brushes and you could see um, because of the concave layering throughout the whole haircut pretty much you could see how uh, soft the ends are the ends aren't real thick, um, and this so this haircut is great for for long hair, for medium length hair. You can really do it on any length that you want. So a lot of people were asking what my favorite long layered haircut is. This is really it. Um, the mannequin just doesn't have very long hair, but I would do the same exact technique on longer hair. So I just go through. I take a nice uh, vertical section. You could call it horizontal, whatever you want to call it, uh, through the top. And I point cut through that just to soften the top layering, but not too much. Uh, not really getting into dry cutting in this haircut because um, I like the result of it already. So a little Bricado Maximum Hold Hairspray uh, to finish off the result. Here's the haircut. All right, guys, so here is the end result. We got our mannequin, I'm shaking it. Uh, but this, this is the end result. A lot of layers, a lot of movement, broken up fringe. I love the look of this haircut. It's very salon friendly, uh, very modern, so you can use it right away in the salon. So I'd love to see your results. Make sure you hashtag free salon education on Instagram so we can see your results. And also post your questions right here on YouTube or Facebook so that we can get those questions answered for you. And make sure you subscribe to us right here on YouTube for more uh, salon friendly step-by-step -step haircuts to come. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.